In the mid-1930s, <clears throat> my father and mother moved to California, where my father took responsibility for the accounting department of a fledgling airline called United. Um, the first week at work, uh, he told this story. Uh, he met with his boss, the supervisor, and they were having lunch in the Burbank City Airport. That's where United's offices were. And my dad noticed over the five-day period that they ate in the cafeteria that there was a guy sitting in a booth in kind of unusual circumstances. And uh, <clears throat> one day, maybe on that Friday of that week, he said to his boss, said, who is that guy sitting over there? He, he has on work coveralls. He's got greasy fingers. His face is greasy. He looks like a tradesman, but he's always sitting with four-star generals or admirals or high-ranking military officials. Who is that guy? And the boss said, you don't know who that is? No. Who is it? He said, well, that's Howard Hughes. Well, this is kind of interesting because Hughes was building his spruce goose at that time. And um, anyway, I was thinking of Howard Hughes uh, when he finished his work in the shop where he's building this big airplane. Um, he would go home, take a shower, put on his tuxedo, and he and Ava Gardner would go out and paint the town red. Interesting, isn't it? He could work as a tradesman and then take those clothes off and put on some formal garments. But I was thinking about Jesus Christ. He came from heaven as the unseen, invisible God, the second member of the Trinity, the Son of God. And he took on garments, flesh. He was born of the Virgin Mary. But when he died, he went back to heaven. So the invisible second person of the Godhead went back to heaven, but he had a garment on. It's like a tuxedo or a work suit, more like a work suit. And what was that? It was human flesh. He went back to heaven to do what? He went back to heaven for two reasons. It tells us clearly in First John that he went back as our advocate. He went back as a defense attorney for us. But we also know from scriptures that he went back as our great high priest. So what does he do as our great high priest? He says that he ever lives to make intercession for us. Whatever that means, it means that the second member of the Godhead with flesh as the God-man appears before God the Father on our behalf as our great high priest regularly. Interestingly, unlike Howard Hughes could take off his work clothes and put on a tuxedo, Jesus will never take off flesh. He is our constant great high priest in the presence of the Father to intercede for us, to pray for us, to hold us up before the Father, and to seek mercy and grace from the Father on behalf of us all. So question, what would happen if Christ took off that flesh? What if he said, hey, I'm tired of this, having to bear a human body? What would happen to our salvation? And why will he, how do we know that he won't take that flesh off? Let's consider that at another time.